Okay, welcome back to my channel. Well, as you can see, I'll be doing the unboxing of a the new Tencent Games Black Shark 3 Pro. Uh, I got the uh, 12 gig, 256, uh, 12 gig RAM, 256 gig storage. So, on my last video, I did a OnePlus 8 unboxing and I compared it to the ROG 3. After the video, I compared the gaming performance of the OnePlus 3 on the ROG 3 and the OnePlus, without a doubt, performed better. It could be maybe because of the Snapdragon 865 processor. This time around, we have the Tencent Games Black Shark 3. So I believe this will perform better than the OnePlus 3. I mean OnePlus 8. So inside the box, we get the Black Shark. Comes with a case. Standard jelly case. Protection for the Black Shark. We got some manuals. Sticker. And of course, we get the phone itself. I got the silver or the armor gray edition. It comes with a 5000 mAh battery, 65 watts fast charging. Uh, the size of the phone is 7.1 inch 2K AMOLED screen at 90 hertz. So this one has a 2K display, so it's almost as clear as a 4K display already. So this would make gaming more pleasurable. Comes with your standard Type-C connector, USB Type-C, and of course the power brick. Uh -huh. It's a... How many watts the power brick is? Let's see how many watts. It says here 11 volts, 6 amperes. So I believe this is the, it comes with the 65 watt charging, if I'm not mistaken. So fast charging at 60 watts. Okay, let's go to the phone itself. So, wow, this phone is big. I believe it's a lot bigger than the ROG phone. It comes already pre-installed with a screen protector, triple camera, 10 cent game at the back, Black Shark 3 LED logo. You have your power switch here, volume rockers over here, SIM card tray, USB type C at the bottom, and of course the headphone jack on top. Let's power it on. Let's check it out. Well, the display is very nice. I'll be comparing this between the gaming performance between the Black Shark, the OnePlus and the ROG 2 anytime soon. So it has Joy UI installed, so we just choose English. Let's skip all the network thing, terms and condition. Let's just skip all of this first. Insert SIM card, skip this step. Let's skip everything first so we can go straight to the unboxing. So. You have uh, system navigation. As usual, I use gestures. I don't use buttons. I'm more used to... Okay, so go to home screen. Open recents and go back. So learn. So you swipe up to go there. Uh, swipe from bottom and pause. This is how you get to your multitasking. Swipe right from edge. That's to go back, swipe live to go back. Okay, you're ready to rock. 
Okay, huh? set system complete there. So as you can see, the display is very bright, very responsive. It has a 90 hertz display, so we can just go here. So you can switch resolution to 2K. Let's apply the refresh rate. Let's go to 90 hertz. As you can see, very responsive. It has a dedicated button on the side. Sweep that button and you go to Shark Space. This is like your armory crate on the ROG phone. So let's just go click Allow. The volume is very strong. Two stereo speakers, one at the bottom, one on top. LED lighting at the back. Enter now. So this is the, sh the shark space. This is like the armory crate on ROG2. So this is where you get all the games. Well, as you can see, there's no games yet installed uh, since it's just an unboxing. Uh, this is where you can set up all those. You can connect the gamepad, your mechanical gaming keyboard, shark cooler, Bluetooth game headset, so each of these are sold separately. I would recommend you get the Shark Cooler because uh, based on reviews and everything, this will outperform the uh, Asus Aero Cooler because it actually cools. Then you have the settings. You can set to clear memory. You have the Gamer Studio. So you have an notice optimization master button so everything you need is like already in here some of them are still on chinese because this is a china rom black shark 3 pro but as soon as the global uh, rom comes out i'll be flashing the global rom on this black shark 3 pro to have everything back to english so as you can see, they're all in Chinese. I believe this is the space where you get to download uh, compatible games up here. It's like a Play Store, if I'm not mistaken. So just go back. You turn off Shark Space, and we're back. So you have a light effect. You can enable the light at the back. Uh, same with uh, the ROG. You can change colors, like click on random. As you can see, the colors are going from green and like blue, green and blue. And there's a light here and a light up here. You can also choose the colors you want. Let's say I go from red and blue, red and blue. Okay. So you can have a light effect when you receive calls, let's say messages and everything, you get to control it all here in your light effect. Then you have the player manual, you have the usual Chinese apps you see on a China ROM, just, just the same as the ROG phone when it was still on China ROM. And you get the black shark mall so everything's right here you get your own app store you can sideload uh, Google Play Store from here which would be included in my next video and I'll show you how to install a uh, Play Store so see is it, this is like their own little Play Store. So
so technically that's it uh, this is just like an initial unboxing uh, you have a lot of mo you have a lot of more options here but I'll do a more in-depth on how to uh, check all these options I have to check first on how each and every one of these options work so for display it's like the normal display you have like screen re re resolution refresh rate I care mode so if you turn this on it's more like reading mode so it turns it yellow makes makes it more pleasing in the eyes especially at night so you also have a performance master uh, this will like on process manager you can see which one of your apps are eating RAM and everything so you can network assistant you can modify each and one of them from here for the camera As you can see, the camera is very, very clear. Very detailed. A lot better than the camera of the ROG2. Though you have to put into, into consideration that this is a gaming phone and not particularly a camera phone. So don't expect it to be the same performance of a camera of an iPhone or let's say a Google Pixel but compared to the ROG phone I, I believe this one would be a better choice you have here this this little thing here so it, it would go to wide angle and you can go back to zoom so so anyway uh, I'll be playing around with the phone and I'll let you know as soon as uh, how to install the Play Store and everything on this phone and what's the performance of the phone on my upcoming videos okay so until next time thanks for watching for the initial unboxing of this uh, new gaming phone that I have and please hit the like and subscribe channel okay thank you so much and till next time